Hello everyone, uh, the time has come for me to share with you one of my trading plans for this week. Although a little bit late today, uh, the plan is still not in motion, so we have enough time. I expect for uh, this trading plan to unfold by the end of the day or uh, tomorrow. Uh, we are going to look at the Canadian dollar Swiss franc this week. And as usual, we are going to start from the weekly time frame uh, where we will determine the uh, current trend and where the price might be headed next. Uh, after that, we will go down to the daily time frame uh, where we will uh, discuss a little bit about different levels that might stop H4 trends. And after that, we will uh, finish our technical analysis on the H4 time frame where uh, we will look for our entries this week. So without further ado, let's get started. What you can see now on the screens is the weekly time frame. Now, uh, at this point, there is uh, not much to say here. As you can see, the, the pair is in a strong uh, range formation uh, for the past few years, actually. Uh, but this uh, range formation is formed by some huge up or down trends. Now, the good thing is here is that after the start of a certain uh, weekly trend, either up or down, we can notice that most of the times the trend is pretty uh, solid. Uh, so we don't have some unexpected moves. If it's going down, it's going down. If it's going up, it's going up. Now, I just want to turn uh, the 200 SMA indicator here, which confirms the downtrend. And also, we can see that currently the price uh, is very close to the uh, line of the indicator, which often acts as either a support or resistance. You can see it did here. Uh, it also acted a few times here after it was broken. Now the Ichimoku uh, also shows a downtrend. Uh, we can see that the price is below the cloud and is actually currently entering inside of it. Um, so this might be a double confirmation if a bounce of the Ichimoku and the 200 SMA occurs. This is for the weekly time frame. We have determined it's a downtrend. Now going down to the daily time frame. I have already defined a few levels, as you can see. And uh, in my opinion, currently the pair is standing at this daily resistance area. Uh, how did I see that? Okay, so a few times we can see that the pair had a reaction from this level, either as a support. Actually, we can count this one here as well either as a support or a resistance. Uh, we can continue seeing reactions here, even here for a while. Uh, just a few weeks back, we can see that the pair uh, reacted as a support, uh, this area reacted as a support here as well, and uh, the price consolidated for a while before breaking it. So this is the first uh, retracement to this area after this break here. So I expect uh, for the level to hold and for a new down wave from here. Now at this point, my expectations are for the price to either reach back to the previous bottom, it did over here, or uh, the wave to continue further down, reaching to this daily support area, which is our target two. As you can see, this is where uh, the last downtrend finished and the new uptrend begin. Uh, also, there is the possibility of this uh, daily resistance area to be broken, although it's highly unlikely, at least in my opinion, but 
If we see a break here, I don't expect the price to reach further than uh, this level, which is at around 0 0.77, and from there to start the new uh, down wave. But again, this is uh, a highly unlikely scenario, but we should have it. So in this case, you have this area if you uh, want to jump in for a buy although I don't recommend it. Uh, it. We have a downtrend on weekly. If we turn on some indicators on the daily time frame, we can see that the 200 SMA is also showing a downtrend and the Ichimoku, again, we are just below the cloud and the price is currently touching it. So a more, more likely scenario here is for the price to actually remain inside of this uh, daily resistance area for a while to consolidate and then to form a new wave down reaching to this daily support or even to this in the more long term. Okay, so uh, going down to the H4 time frame, what we can notice here, first of all, let's check the indicators, the 200 SMA. The price is exactly at the line at the moment uh, and the Ichimoku is actually showing an uptrend on the H4 but I believe this uptrend we went somewhere here. Uh, let me just delete a few of those so we can draw. So first thing first this area is uh, in my opinion, the area that will stop the H4 uptrend and we'll see a new wave down. Now, I would look here for a possible H4 engulfing. Uh, if we mark this area with some lines here, so it would be more visible. It's a pretty huge area actually, but I would look for entry points somewhere either in this area or in case the price breaks this trend line. As you can see, uh, the price has already, we had a strong uptrend here in this area and now you can see how uh, kind of almost in a range we are moving. Now I don't expect this area to be broken further up from here. We can move this line a little bit to here somewhere. And I would look for entries from this point forward. So from a price below 0.75 55, let's say at 50 just to be safe. So just below this uh, area, 0 0.7550, you can safely look for uh, sell opportunities either on the H4 or on the M30, H1 or whatever time frame you're comfortable in uh, trading at. Uh, that's all on this plan. Uh, I'm going to post this trading plan on TradingView and in the description there, there I'll add some fundamental analysis for this week. So check it out. Uh, we will also, I will also post uh, live signals based on this uh, trading plan on our Twitter profile. And uh, next week we'll have a surprise for you, so don't miss out on that. Thank you very much. I wish everyone a profitable week.